Hello and welcome to another Zoom training video. Um, having a look at Adobe Muse. Um, it's a really good program to get web pages done. If you find things like CSS and HTML and JavaScript too difficult, this is a great way to either get a job done or learn design skills. Okay, so when you start up a new site, you'll get this box, which it's kind of old school, I guess, in a way. It doesn't um, doesn't work, doesn't um, do responsive sites. Um, you have to do a fixed page width, default to 960, minimum height 500, sticky footer. Um, there's certain elements that you can put into the footer and they will stay there. Basically just go with the default settings for now. Um, I tend to like to make mine a little bit wider for some reason 1080 is what I choose. Okay, so up here you have the option to design a tablet version and a phone version and Muse will determine which of those two um, the device is. For now you have to press that to add a whole new layout but for now we're just looking at desktop. Okay, so you've got that there which will be your home. This is if you want to make a sort of template to reuse on other pages if you have multiple pages. Uh, you don't really need to do that. Um, yeah, I suppose you could make a template there and reuse it on multiple sites as your master. But for now we'll just go straight in to the web authoring setup. So, uh, it works a lot like uh, a graphic design program in many ways. Uh, has the same. If you were to do a uh, a Photoshop layout, that's pretty much the sort of stuff you can do here, except for the finer graphics. Um, I mean, it's not as good as Photoshop by any means, but you can do most of the things that you would want for web functionality and then import uh, design elements from a program like Photoshop. Okay, so let's have a look around. Um, it's quite, kind of daunting at first when you look at this and think where do I begin? But I'll show you straight away one of the um, best features of a program like this over many of the ones that have been around for many years and that would be uh, widgets, let me think, assets no it's not assets uh, not library I thought it was widgets so in here you've got <clears throat> a lot of the stuff that makes web pages what they are today. Um, you have pop up light boxes which can show you photos, perhaps. You can do tooltips. Um, you can configure your own a bit more rather than using pre-designed ones which are still adjustable um, there's some forms um, those actually require you to host your site at Adobe which is a bit of a pain for people on a budget I was going to look at menus for now so I'm going to choose a standard horizontal menu 
and just drag that over. Let's put it over here. Okay. So for now we've only got one page, so one page shows up automatically. If I go back to here and I add a page to the right of that one and call it, I don't know, um, about, <clears throat> now when we go to this page, which is just up here already, there it's automatically added added it in. So you sort of move things around just as designers have always dreamed about doing. Um, you just put it where you want it and the code takes care of itself. So yeah. Alright, so you've got um, various settings for your um, for your menu so you can control the individual boxes or the whole group so you press this little guy here and you get a few options these options are actually not that you don't use this menu this panel very much um, edit together is important because when you make adjustments to each of these elements it will follow, if you do it on one it will do it to all of them so if you change the colors, the rollovers um, so on okay so you've got the ability to add submenus in a certain way stuff like that Okay, so to get rid of that, what do we do? We just click away, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you how to take control over the button colors. Go over to here. And At the moment, it's the active uh, active page because it's home. So you control how you want the active page to appear. So at the moment, it's a grey fill, which is pretty simple. Basically, you just choose your colours like that. You can choose some other options. You can have a gradient, change the opacity, you can use an image as your menu button, and there's some other settings there. So we leave it as it is for now. Um, active. Okay, so this is where you control the different features that are quite technical, really for something like this. The moment we're dealing with the active one, because it is the active one, when you press the mouse down, do you want it to change colour to acknowledge that the mouse is being pressed? Do you want it to change colour with rollover? And when it's actually not on its own page, that's normal. So let's look at active. So you have to remember to do each of these you have to remember to set up each of them individually and that will, because we had edit together in the other settings that will um, make, sure, make it so that th these rules apply to every part of the menu so let's change it to something easy to look at uh, about a simple blue and because it's the active active page 
That should show up now over here. And that one is still grey because I didn't change the normal value, which I can do now. I can change normal to um, perhaps a darker blue, slightly darker blue. Um, oh, it's come out the same. Huh. All right, let's just uh, make it a bit darker. Sort of like a nice blue rather than a too much of a navy blue. No, right, it's still the same. Okay. How about a very light blue? Right. So that's for normal. Now we go over and we'll see. No, they've both changed. I don't know why that's happening. Um, so you can, it's a bit confusing trying to work out what's going on. Okay, there we go. It's because it was selected. That was the reason. So there you've got how it would look. And of course, when you put your mouse over, you can do settings for that. And when you press the mouse button down, settings for that as well. All right, so we can go to something to make the video easier to watch. We can go to page properties. And... What have we got here? <clears throat> um, a few variables there that websites like to use. Just trying to work out how to change the background color. Oh, here we go. Browser fill. Yep. So let's make that a nice gray. Select from one of the swatches, maybe. Um, blue. Where do I want to go here? somewhere like that okay um, as a start of your page I think that's enough for now to get you started you can just watch the next video